This is GE Aerospace, advancing flight for future generations. Welcome to a new era of flight. The vast Asia-Pacific region is becoming one of the largest for commercial jets in the world. As demand for air travel, including from many taking to the skies for the very first time, continues to grow. This is fueling not just aircraft sales, but demand for support services, including maintenance, repair and overhaul over the lifetime of these aircraft and their key systems, including engines. With its many decades of experience in propulsion technology, many are aware of GE Aerospace's long heritage in this industry, as well as the products it produces today, such as the Boeing 787's Gen X and the GE 9X for the soon to be certificated Boeing 777X. But GE Aerospace's innovative touch goes beyond the engines themselves. It is also breaking new ground in MRO. MRO is the lifeblood of the industry, ensuring that airliners meet the strict safety standards set by the regulators and helping airlines keep their assets as productive as possible. GE Aerospace's facility here in Singapore is the first in the world to be approved to use metal additive manufacturing for commercial jet engine component repairs. And on the production side, GE Aerospace's Pune factory in India is pioneering techniques such as laser inspection technology and additive manufacturing. Supporting local industry and driving innovation is crucial to GE Aerospace's philosophy for the region. It supports more than 5,500 employees directly and many thousands more through the supply chain. Including joint ventures, the company is responsible for no fewer than seven MRO operations, manufacturing plants and research facilities throughout the region. Ian Roger from GE Aerospace Component Repair Singapore tells us why this region is such an important contributor to the company's MRO offering in Asia Pacific and beyond. Singapore has such a strategic place in MRO, especially for Asia Pacific. Uh, we've been here for over 40 years. Our business here for component repair accounts for more than 60% of our global repair volume. And the reason we've been here so long and the reason we continue to have a strategic place here is because of the infrastructure, the support from government, and most importantly, the talent that is continually evolving with support from local resources. We're really excited about our next stage of evolution here in Singapore for component repair. We're about to establish a smart factory which brings together all of the existing technologies we have around additive, automation and robotics but adds a theme of digitalization to allow us to tap into all that amazing data we have to support our customers further. Here in Singapore, more than 2,000 skilled technicians and engineers work at GE Aerospace Engine Services Singapore. The facility accounts for more than two-thirds of GE Aerospace's global repair volume. And in South Korea, GE Aerospace has a long-standing partnership with one of that country's leading defence players, Hanwha Aerospace. Hanwha and local industry assemble parts for the F404 engine for the KAI T50 supersonic trainer, as well as the T700 for the Surian utility helicopter. In Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, GE Aerospace has made a major investment in an expansion of its engine services facility there. And in Australia, the Asia Pacific Service Centre at Brisbane Airport is the largest service centre for GE Aerospace's systems business in the region.